Hello everybody, welcome to my channel Crypto Explorer. Today's video, I will be unboxing this uh, Ledger Nano S. Um, it's a cryptocurrency hardware wallet and uh, I will go over how to get it set up and um, just walk you through the whole process. Now, a couple months ago, um, the main software for the Ledger Nano was tied to a Chrome plugin, but now they actually have their own um, executable software where it is not tied to Chrome and I like that a lot because uh, Chrome does have its faults in, in terms of security and um, getting away from that uh, be requiring Chrome I, in my opinion is a good move so let's open this up so if you buy a ledger make sure you get it from uh, well, make sure you just get it from a reputable dealer or from Ledger Direct. So here it is, the hardware wallet. And it opens up like this. It has these two buttons here and a small screen. So it comes with a little, uh, I don't think it's called a lanyard, but I guess an attachment. So you can, uh, not, so you can, I guess, put it around your neck or something. I guess it is a lanyard. So let's see how does this go. Ah, we'll do that later. And then it comes with a USB cable. Micro USB. And it comes with, I guess it's like a keychain um, connection. If you want to connect it that way. And here's the instructions. So, getting started guide. And then it comes with uh, a couple of these recovery sheets where you will would put the seed words that is generated when creating a wallet. Okay, that's it just for the unboxing. And next I'll just go to the screen share uh, to get this all set up. But basically, um, if it's not uh, obvious enough, you hook up your ledger here. And then it connects to the USB port of your computer. It's kind of tight fit. There you go. And these are the buttons used to control it and control the menu. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, now that we got our Ledger Nano S unboxed and ready to go, we now go to the laptop or computer that we want to get it configured on and per the instructions, from the 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 box we need to go to start.ledgerwallet.com to configure this device so go to start.ledgerwallet.com and then you're going to click download now here to download the ledger live now to save some time i've already downloaded it so let's go to my downloads and you're going to double click it to launch and this is for windows Click install and wait. It takes only less than a minute for it to install. Okay, and then click finish to run. Now, you'll be prompted to set up a new device. So let's wait for it to start up. So click get started. Click on initialize a new ledger device. And we're gonna select the Ledger Nano S and click continue. Now, it's gonna tell us we gotta connect it to the computer. So let me get my ledger here. I'm gonna plug it in here. This one is a little tight, but make sure it's seated in. And then I'm gonna plug it into my USB port over here.
There you go. And then we're going to see over here on the ledger, it says press both buttons to begin. So I'm going to press these two buttons here. And then it says with ledger now to S. So both of buttons are used to interact and control the user interface. And telling us that's how we navigate to control things. And press both to but buttons to confirm, continue. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to the application and click on continue. And then over here it says copy the word below, um, uh, copy the word displayed below word one in position on a blank recovery sheet. So we're gonna have to do this. And then we're gonna select on the ledger now. So I just press both buttons. Configure is new device, so this is for the check. And it's gonna ask me to choose a pin code. So I'm gonna select both. And then over here, I'm just gonna make it really simple because this is an example. So I'm gonna go give the pin one and then hit both, two, hit both. Three, four, five, six, both, seven, and eight. And it's going to ask me to confirm my pin code. So I'm going to hit both buttons again and enter it one more time. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Both buttons. And then it's going to ask me to write down my recovery phrase. So I'm going to hit both buttons. And so these are the words that they are wanting you to write down over here. So there's going to be a total of 24 words. So let me um, get a pen. Or actually, I'll, I won't get a pen. I'll just uh, type it out on here on the notepad. So the first word here is oh, focus report. So let's do this. Report. So one. Now, it's highly recommended that you do not type these recovery words in any computer. Hit here to see the next word. Huge. And 21, track, 22, card. Two more, two more words. 23, this, and 24 is wage. There we go. So we have our 24 C words that um, they want us to go put in this recovery sheet. Um, personally, I don't like to just use this recovery sheet. I, I have a video where I show how to separate the words, but if you just want to follow it by the instructions, you're going to put your recovery phrase, all 24 words on the sheet and put this on a sa in a safe, locked up. Okay, so once we did all 24, I'm going to hit both buttons, and it's going to ask us to confirm, so both buttons again. And then confirm word one is report. So I'm going to go there until there's report.
Oh, there it is. And this is back and forth. And when it's, once it's at that word, you hit both buttons. Word two, huge. There he is. Word three. Twenty-three is this, and the last word, twenty-four, is wage. Oh, there you go. And now it's processing. And the device is now ready. So hit both buttons, and it's going to say install apps on your Ledger device. So let's get back to the computer. And we're going to go to click continue here. And then we're going to just do our checklist. Do we do the security pin yourself? Yes. We save the recovery phase. Yes. And is it genuine? We're going to check now. So it has to be connected. So it's going to connect to the ledger device. And uh, you're going to see here, it says, press both buttons to continue to install apps. So. So you press both buttons, and you can see on the screen, setting up the Ledger Nano S. It checks, it checks. And then we're going to get prompted to allow Ledger Manager, and we're going to tap this button to check, yes. And then we're going to see on the screen, device is ready. And let's push this aside. We're gonna tap continue. And then we can put a password. I'm just gonna put a, a simple password right now. This is to lock the application. And I'm gonna click continue. And then uh, it's up to you if you wanna do this. I'm gonna click continue. And then device is ready. I'm gonna go open our Ledger Live. So from here, this is where you're gonna to start to um, install apps. Let's click, got it. I'm gonna click Open Manager. And over here we can search um, the different apps that we wanna install, basically the different cryptocurrencies um, that we wanna install. So if you wanna do Bitcoin, we're gonna click Install Bitcoin. And then over here, you're gonna see it's gonna install Bitcoin. See, it says processing. Now, I'm not too sure how many uh, different coins you can install, but um, I'm pretty sure there's, uh, it'll tell you when it's full. Click close. So if we wanna do Ethereum, click here, install Ethereum. And then you can see on the Nano S it's installing it. So depending on what your holdings are, you're gonna select what um, coin you wanna, what wallet you want on this ledger. So for the sake of this example, I'm just gonna do uh, Ethereum and Bitcoin. So if you tap on portfolio, you can click, you notice there's no accounts in here. I'm gonna click add accounts. And I'm gonna click Bitcoin and continue. And then on the ledger, we're going to have to unlock the device, which is already unlocked. And then we're going to open the Bitcoin app. So you see here, you can select the apps. So here's the Bitcoin. I'm going to hit both to open. And then back on the computer, I'm going to type hit continue. And then it's going to synchronize. So give it a moment for it to synchronize. And from there, you can get your Bitcoin address. So if you have funds on an exchange or another wallet, you can send it to this wallet address. Let's give it a name, Bitcoin main. 
and check and then add account and then let's add an ethereum wallet as well so you can type ethereum hit continue so we're going to do the same thing now on the wallet if you uh tap here you can go through the different options so we're going to have to quit the bitcoin app and then go to ethereum and then launch it then now back at the laptop hit continue and wait for it to synchronize and give it a moment So again, with this one, once it's done synchronizing, you should be able to get your wallet address for you to send your funds to, so it can be held here. There you go, it's done. Um, I'm just gonna call it Ethereum, hit the checkbox and add account. And I'm gonna exit out because I'm not gonna add more. So over here under portfolio, we can scroll down we see F2. Ethereum and Bitcoin. Right now we're connected to the Ethereum wallet on the on the Nano S. I'm going to tap Ethereum. And then here you can see receive. And then hit continue because we're connected. It's already open. And then over here we're going to verify the address on the device to make sure the address on the device matches the address on this application. So I'm going to hit verify. And then on the thing, on the Nano S, you'll see the address. So let's quickly check it. The last is ECE. -E. And yeah, ECE. -E. It's going to start again. And it's kind of like a spot check. It's kind of really hard to really check everything. But you can. 0x9b6. D5A. So I'm going to click tap here to confirm that this is address. So it's confirmed. And if you need to send funds, you'd be sending it to this address. So let's get out of here. Um, if we want to go to the Bitcoin wallet, tap on Bitcoin. I'm going to tap receive. Now, because we're open, uh, we have the Ethereum app open on the ledger, we have to close it. So I'm going to tap this until I get to quit app and hit both buttons. And then I'm going to go to Bitcoin, hit both buttons, and that is going to open up the Bitcoin wallet. So let's verify this address as well. So over here, we're going to see 3BNXAU, and we'll quickly do a spot check on it. And last is L5F, so I'm going to check the checkbox and confirm the wallet. And this will be your Bitcoin address. So that's pretty much it to get your Ledger Nano S configured and set up. And um, of course, there's other uh, crypto assets you can add onto it. But um, that's, this is just mainly for Bitcoin and Ethereum. So let's just go back and overview. You can see the portfolio. You can do a send. And over here, you can choose which one to send from. But everything else is pretty self-explanatory. Anyway, hope this helps and um, hope uh, it was clear enough for you to get your Ledger Nano S configured and set up. Okay, thank you for watching.